the Church of the Ascension and the Basilica of All Nations with its radiant mosaic facade. In the heart of the basilica is the Garden of Gethsemane, where old olive trees are said to be the direct descendants of those which saw the last moments of Christ. Behind the Lion Gate, various Christian persuasions pray in silence. How many are there left of these Christians who live in the city that gave birth to their church? Half are Roman Catholics, but with their own autonomous organization. A third are Eastern Orthodox, and others are Armenians, Syrians, Copts, Ethiopians, or Protestants. Every Friday at 2.30 in the afternoon, the monks from the order created by St. Francis of Assisi have a procession along La Via Dolorosa. This street leads right up to the Holy Sepulcher and encourages the numerous pilgrims to relive the passion of the Messiah. Marked by 14 stations, the Way of the Cross remains sacred for the entire Christian community. The first station is located in the courtyard of a Muslim school. Here, Herod built the Antonia Fortress, where Jesus was condemned by Pilate. The Franciscan monks, amplifiers slung over the shoulder, pray with the crowd. Here, the pilgrims would have already discovered the Chapel of Flagellation, because the last five stations are found inside the Holy Sepulchre. This is the convent of the Dames of Zion and the Church of St. Anne. This church belongs to a nunnery where the most noble Frankish women came to retire from the world, which explains the magnificence of this Roman structure. It was built over the crypt part of a network of caves, which is the traditional location of the dwelling place of Anne and Joachim, the parents of Mary, the mother of Jesus. The heights of West Jerusalem offer a panoramic view of the hills of Judea and of the memory of the Jewish people. At the foot of Mount Herzl, taking its name from the founder of Zionism in the middle of a park, 